Hello and welcome to another video. I want to start by saying thank you and a very big thank you to every subscriber to this channel because I woke up this morning to find out that this channel already has 10,000 very nice subscribers. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I remember when I got 100 subscribers just before the pandemic and I was so elated about it. I'm super happy and I want to thank everyone who has stayed on my side start right from the beginning even when no one knew I was making videos, those who subscribed. Um, I want to thank those who have made observations about my videos on how to improve, um, those of you who make corrections, those of you who make suggestions, those of you who just watch the videos, those of you who just click the like button or who make others subscribe or, or sh who share the videos or who tell others about the videos. I'm very grateful and thank you. Okay, um, because of this, I might go live um, someday when I think I have the nerve to do it. Okay, but for this video, we're just going to solve this because this is not going to take long because it's just some little trig identities you need to use and that's it. This is um, integrating trigonometric functions and this is a combination of weird things. You have secant, we have cosine two theta, we have sine, uh, yeah. So the first thing you wanna do when you don't know what to do is to go back and say, what is not sine and what is not cosine? As you can see, secant and um, secant is here and secant is here. We want to switch it and write it in terms of cosine. And by that, we can see what we want to do. So basically, I'm going to ignore this integration sign and just deal with the trig expression. So I'm going to say, um, consider secant x cosine 2x over sine x plus secant x. You see this expression, I know I can write this as the secant is 1 over cosine. And I know that I'm going to leave this as cosine 2x. Let's see what this is going to turn out to be. I'm going to write this expression also as sine x plus 1 over cosine x. Always do this when you don't have an identity. You don't know what to do, do this. Now what do I need to do? This is a fraction within a fraction, so I'm going to do something to get rid of these two cosines, and the only way to do that is to multiply the top and bottom by cosine. So I'm going to multiply this by cosine, multiply this by cosine, and so this is what's going to happen. I'm going to have this expression, um, it's going to be 1 over cosine times cosine. So let's just write it, 1 over cosine multiplied by cosine 2x over sine x plus 1 over cosine x. If I multiply the top by cosine x, and I multiply this also by cosine x, notice that this cosine will cancel out this cosine and I just have 1, and what is left on top is simply cosine 2x. And if I multiply this by cosine, it's going to be sine x, cosine x, and this multiplied by this gives me just 1. So this expression can be written this way, and I can say that what I have here is what's here, but we're not done. Let's pay as close attention to this expression. It's important to always pay attention to the product of sine and cosine, because you see this is half of sine 2x. Remember the trig identity that sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So as you can see, this is what we have. You can divide both sides by 2 so that you can replace sine x cosine x by half of sine 2x. So I'm going to write this to be equal to cosine 2x divided by 1 half of sine 2x. plus 1. So this now it's easy for me to deal with because I can I know that the derivative of sine 2x 
contains cosine 2x. And now I can use u substitution. So everything we've done so far is just trig identity, simplification, and at the end of the day, we get something that's easy to take the integral of. So, so now we have this expression being equal to this. Maybe I should have gone ahead to take this half, take this two up, you know, like multiply the top and bottom by two to get rid of the half, but it's not really necessary because we're still gonna get our answer. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, oh, maybe we should do it so that our final answer looks nicer when we do our u substitution. Okay, so let's clean this up. We know that this is equal to, if I multiply everything by two so I can take care of this half, we're gonna have the integral of, multiply the top by two, it's gonna be two cosine, 2x and under what will we have we're going to have just sine 2x plus 2 okay dx which we know that we can pull this 2 to the back and that's it which is equal to 2 times the integral of cosine 2x over sine 2x plus 2 so now you see that if we make the denominator our u, the derivative of the denominator contains the numerator and u substitution saves us. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna say let u be equal to sine 2x plus two, such that du will be the derivative of this. The derivative of sine 2x plus two is just gonna be two cosine 2x. Oh, maybe we should have left this here. I'm taking it back. <laughs> nice. We're good. So as you can see, du is the entire top. And so we can say du and the bottom is just u. And that's it, that's the integral we need to take. What's the integral of one over u du? Well, it's gonna be the natural log of u plus c. And what did we say u was? u was sine 2x plus x. So this answer is the natural log of the absolute value, maybe I should have done this, of sine 2x plus 2 plus c. That was so easy. And that's the answer that we're supposed to get any day, any time. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.